For seven months now, the Ethiopian government has imposed an all-encompassing siege on Tigray that has included a blockade on all medical supplies coming into the region. The months-long siege on the region has a devastating impact on the most vulnerable members of the community, including children, the elderly, and people suffering from chronic illnesses. This is St. Mary Hospital in Aksum. Patients here that suffer from illnesses such as diabetics, hypertension, and other chronic illnesses say their lives are in great danger due to the ongoing siege. They told me there is no medicine available here. I will try my last chance at a private pharmacy. But if I don't get my medication, I will go straight home and await my days. They prescribed aspirin, ACT, and other medication that is not available in stock. In fact, no medicine is available at the pharmacy. The hospital can provide treatment if it doesn't have medication. I have diabetes and hypertension. I can survive without medicine. Health workers at the hospital say lack of medical supplies has brought the hospital to a near standstill, making it unable to provide even the most basic medical treatments to its patients. <laughs> It's difficult to tell patients no medication available. They usually leave the pharmacy crying because we couldn't help them. We cry on the inside and we feel worthless. If we are not able to find medication soon, our people will vanish. <laughs> We have run out of gloves, so we started washing and reusing them. We have run out of gloves, so we started washing and reusing them. We believe this is safer than operating with our bare hands. It's just desperation. Dr. Solomon Huri, medical director at the hospital, says the hospital has reached a breaking point and has suspended operations due to lack of medical supplies. <laughs> This hospital had been providing medical care to hundreds of thousands of patients, including IDPs. But we have been forced to suspend service provision, including to children and patients suffering from chronic diseases. Health workers and patients at St. Mary Hospital called on the international community play its part to ensure that medication is available to all those in need in Tigray. <laughs> The international community should do its part to resolve the dire situation on the ground and help those in desperate need of medicine and food in Tigray. The international community should go beyond statements and take decisive action. Humanitarian crisis in Tigray has escalated and hundreds of patients, including children, mothers and patients with chronic illness, are dying due to man-made humanitarian catastrophe.